We welcome you to Unity Spiritual Community. This is April the 7th, 2023, and we are having a Good Friday meditation. So we invite you to become relaxed. Take a couple of deep breaths. And set aside all the tasks of the day. Anything that you still have to do on the morrow. And allow yourself to be totally centered in this sacred moment. Take a moment to scan your body and look for any pockets of tension or discomfort. And if you detect any, direct your breath to that area. And as you inhale, picture the breath like fine champagne bubbles dissolving any discomfort and allowing it to be exhaled again on the breath. Pay special attention to any area of your body that has caused you pain or difficulty or chronic problems and send your breath to those areas. And pay special attention to the small of your back. Relax, allow the chair to support you. Feel free to lean on something or use pillows. Relax all the muscles around the small of your back. And pay attention to the back of your neck the place where your neck attaches to your skull and then on down your neck to the top of your shoulders. And you might want to do just some minor stretches or neck rolls. Relax your jaw. And focus on your breath again, allowing your, your stomach, your belly to just balloon out as you inhale. Develop the soft belly that the Buddhists talk about. Expands when you inhale. Naturally deflates as you exhale. Has no tension. Nothing to protect yourself from. As you become aware of your breath, remember that whenever you are in a guided visualization, your breath is your home base. If you find your attention wandering and need to refocus, begin by focusing on your breath. If there's anything in the visualization that makes you uncomfortable, then bring your attention back to your breath and become centered. You will always find your way home, no matter how far you've roamed in a visualization by focusing on your breath. Now we do one final sweep of our bodies from our toes through our feet and calves and thighs, allowing all of those muscles to relax and be filled with the, the liquid light of love of God. 
and feel that liquid love filling you, filling your belly and lower back and rising through your chest and upper back. And as it does, you know an intense comfort and a warmth and a peace. And then that light rises through your shoulders and down your arms and up through your neck and finally out at the top of your head, your crown chakra. We begin our special Good Friday meditation by picturing ourselves in the springtime woods, out in the trees and nature. Our senses are immersed in the experience. It is so beautiful. It seems to engulf us. Sweet springtime grass brushes our ankles and calves. and pebbles lightly pressed through the soles of our shoes. And the sound of bird song fills the air. The warmth of the sun and the breeze both caress you on your face in the scent of jasmine and honeysuckle waft around you. And your eyes behold astonishing beauty in each glance. You stroll along feeling a part of nature and having the awareness that nature recognizes you and greets you as you pass. You arrive at a small stone chapel nestled in the trees. As you enter the dim coolness inside, you notice the stained glass windows glowing, illuminating the chapel with the colors of the rainbow. You see rows of stone benches and select one to lie upon. As you stretch out comfortably on the stone, waves of brilliant colored light flow over you. And you notice that the stone beneath you has begun to resonate. You relax into the bench and allow yourself to become receptive to the vibration of the stone as a wordless narrative unfolds within your mind. The stone explains that nothing is ever lost, that every thought and experience leaves an impression on the earth, 
and that the stones are keepers of the sacred sagas of the human race. They offer to share the words of the one who modeled spiritual enlightenment for all of humankind. And you accept. Then in the sound of sheer silence, you hear this voice. It is dark and I am lying very still. I feel my body surrendering to the will of the Father, released from its earthly travail. The tightness of the shroud echoes the tightness of the swaddling cloths that bound me so long ago in this stable. There is silence in this dusty darkness. I begin to feel very light, weightless even. The boundaries of my body become indistinct and gravity loses its hold on me. I float upward, the shroud draping around me for a while, then falling away as I become too insubstantial to support it. I am drawn to the light. It beckons me with the promise of peace, of homecoming. I long to merge with it and return to my father, but I refrain. There is more to be done. My promise has not yet been fulfilled. I remain suspended in the darkness of this place as the cells and atoms of my body vibrate into a new alignment. I feel purified, free of the toxins that life left in me. The air around me begins to vibrate the stones above and below me resonate from the power of the energy flowing through me and from me. My senses dim and I slip into unknowingness. After some time has passed, I am once again aware of being in the cool, dark silence. I have returned to this place, yet I am no longer of this place. I am made of light. I rise and a stone that had blocked the entrance rolls aside. Through the opening, a sweet spring breeze comes in, and I turn to face the dawn. And now as you experience the time in the tomb and the three days of transformation, we will enter a time of silence.
bring your awareness gently back to your breath. And notice each inhalation and each exhalation as you gradually become aware of the stone beneath you in the chapel and the rainbow colors washing over you. Breathe deeply of the cool, peaceful air. You stretch and allow your awareness to become grounded in your body once again. You feel a new sense of wholeness within, as if something that had been missing has now been supplied. Rising from the stone bench, you see the chapel door. And through the opening, a sweet spring breeze comes in and you turn to face the dawn. So as you bring your awareness back to this now moment, you might want to stretch or wiggle your fingers and toes. Notice the room that you're in, the temperature, the smell, if there's any air blowing on your cheeks. And just know that this experience today will always stay with you. That there was birth in you a new part of yourself that had been dormant until now. And as you embrace this self, you enter a state of wholeness, a natural state, which is your birthright. as you continue to become reoriented you might want to rub your hands together and when they get really hot put them on your cheeks it's a very good way to get centered and in preparation for turning off the recording we thank all of those who are listening via the recording in whatever time in the future it may be. God bless you and have a blessed Easter.